Hello everybody, this is Susie. Um, I wanted to show you guys how I made um, these molds using the Prima Doll um, rubber stamps. Or you can use just any um, of your favorite rubber stamps. And um, I already um, made this piece and I used the um, amazing casting resin. I like this resin because um, it'll set within like 5 to 10 minutes and it's all white it turns all white but um, you can add color um, using the um, the dyes and um, I made this one white and then I'm just gonna go in and um, either color these with markers or just fill in these little gaps um, with r colored resin um, so I just wanted to show you guys how I made these and it's really easy um, so I'm gonna make let me move this out of the way. I'm going to make um, a mold out of this one. And um, on this one, on these, on the rubber molds or silicone molds, you want to use some type of um, mold release. And I used the rubber to rubber mold release. And I used this just so that the, um, the putty, the, the mold putty doesn't like stick onto this. Because if you don't use some type of mold release, it um, it probably probably will get stuck to them, and I don't want to um, have a big old piece of uh, mold putty stuck on my rubber stamps. Um, and I am using the um, amazing mold putty, and I have um, use part A and part B. You just use equal parts. So I already have some right here. And if I have any left over, I have a couple of pieces right here that I'll, I can um, use the rest of it to mold. I don't like to waste stuff. So you just want to mix it very well. Because sometimes you do get air pockets in there, and if you don't mix it well, um, your, your mold won't come out right. I already messed up a couple of molds. And I don't want to mess up any more. <laughs> and you can find um, the Amazing Mold Putty. And I think at basically any craft store, I know Michael's has it, and um, if you use your coupon, well, you get it a lot, you know, for a lot less. And they also have the amazing casting resin at Michael's, I've seen it there. So you just want to mix it really good. And you only have about, I don't know, maybe about a minute of working time to use this before it starts to set. So, um, okay, mine's mixed pretty well. And I just want to um, stretch it out a little bit just to make sure it's going to fit. You want to flatten it down a little bit that way, um, you want it, to, you know, you want it to be flat from the back because um, once you make your mold and you start pouring resin, it's good if it's flat on the back. Otherwise, you're gonna have um, the resin leaking everywhere, dripping everywhere. So I'm gonna just push that there, press it down a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, my iPad had died. The battery died too. So um, I just finished this off camera because it was already starting to set. So I had like a lot of this um, excess um, putty around here, the mold putty, and I just cut it. I just cut it off, and um, I made um, some extra little molds right here. And I um, did the butterfly, and I did this flower. And you could also, like I said, you could use any. Um, stamps and I made this mold out of this um, it's a bird it's a stamp a bird stamp so I made a a stamp a mold out of that also um, so I'm just gonna we're just gonna fill it up with um, I already have a little bit of resin in here and I already put some of the some of this Illumilite black dye and the resin I'm using is the Amazing 
casting resin. I like this one because it sets fast. So like if you need a piece, um, you know, really fast, you can just use this. You don't have to wait like 12 hours for the other one to set. So I'm just going to try out these molds. Just need to mix up the resin really good. And I'm doing it black and then I'm going to um, add color to it later. So I'm going to fill these up too, since I have, I made enough resin for all of these. Okay, so I got that one done. Now I'm going to do the flower one. It doesn't matter if you like, um, you know, overfill it a little bit because you can always sand those pieces off or just break them off. And then I have, um, see like right here, it over I overfilled it, but that's okay. Since I'm trying to do this video kind of fast, I'm just pouring it really fast, so I'm spilling it all over. <laughs> I'm going to get another mold. Okay, pour the rest in another mold. Um, so this one's already starting to set. It sets pretty quick. Yeah, it's already starting to set. It will set within like five minutes. As you can see right here, it's already turning all white, so it's starting to set pretty quick. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that set for a couple of minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, it's been about three minutes. About three or four minutes. So now I can start um, peeling this off. Oh, it just popped right out. See, and it didn't even damage the mold or anything. Um, you see? I just need to cut up, um, cut these parts off, a couple of parts off. But it came out really nice. And it's really flexible right now, so when it's fle flexible, it's easy for you to trim it. Now we're going to see the little butterfly. Let's see, that came out nice too. And the little flower. It did, see, it captured all the details like really, really nice. See, like with the butterfly, it captured the details really good. And then here's the um, the bird, and that's um, from one of those silicone stamps or the clear stamps. So that came out pretty neat too. And I'm just gonna show you a little bit. I'm gonna put some um, a little bit of the powder on this just so you can see. So you can just, after you're done with um, your pieces, you can just, after you pop them out, you can just um, paint them any color you want. I just put a little bit of bronze powder on that one. And it came out pretty neat. 
And on this one already, um, on this one what I'm going to do since it has all these little areas right here, I'm just going to fill those up with resin. Um, it was a lot easier to do them this way, making the mold and just making it all black than how I did it on my tutorials because on my tutorials I would first put um, like all the colored resin and the you know like the flesh tone and all of that and then I would put black on top just to give it this you know to hold it together to give it a, a you know this look but um, it's easier just pouring all your black um, resin on here and then just filling up all these little gaps with um, any colored resin that you want it'll come out really nice um, so I hope you guys like this tutorial and um, thank you all for watching and God bless you guys. Bye-bye.